creative summer bucket list. Hey guys, it's Claire Leo, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a super fun video. First of all, can we just celebrate that it's freaking summer? And I am so happy, so excited. Summer doesn't really mean much to me, because I have summer pretty much all year round, except for school. Summer pretty much just means that all my friends are available and we can finally hang out all the time and all day long and all night long. So, today's video is, I created a summer bucket list and I am so excited. These are all the things I really want to do, some of the things I'm going to be doing, so those will be easy to check off. Hopefully most of these things can happen so I can have a full bucket list of everything checked off. Anyways, before we get on to this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you love summer and comment down below some summer bucket list things you have or some summer videos you guys want to see on my channel. And let's get straight into this fabulous, fantastic, amazing, wonderful video. This is three pages long. So you all know that I love Disneyland. So that's obviously my number one is going to Disneyland. I love going to Disneyland. I feel like such a freaking child, but it's so much fun. There's lots of fun games. It's a really fun family friendly thing that we can do as a family or I could bring my friends. I think that's the part of my bucket list is I wanna bring my friends to Disneyland because I mean Disneyland with friends is just the best thing ever. Number two is a movie night in the pool. Guys, I'm so excited. Our backyard is finally almost finished. Our pool is going to be getting completely done hopefully by June. So that'll be fun and I really wanna bring my friends over, put up a projector against the side of the wall and watch a movie from the pool so then I can have a pool party and a movie night at the same time. And I just think that would be so much fun. I've wanted to do this forever. Now we have a pool and so now we can actually do it. Of course, a photo shoot with my friends. All my friends know this or anyone that knows me knows that I love photo shoots. I love taking photos. I'm always asking if we can take photos, asking people to take photos of me and my friends. I think my issue is I love looking at Pinterest and seeing all the cute friend photos and so I want those and so I Try to recreate that, epically fail though. I definitely wanna take a whole bunch of photos and have a photo shoot, like go to Walmart, take photos, cause Walmart photos with your friends is like the cutest photos ever. So follow my Instagram right here if you want to see all those fun fit pictures that hopefully will make it onto the Instagram. Number four is a bonfire with friends. I actually was just at a bonfire three nights ago for the end of school year, and it was so much fun. It was really boring at the same time, but it turned out super fantastic by the end of it. Number five is a movie marathon. Mostly all just Disney movies, cause I am a kid like that. And I think that that would be so much fun, just sitting, watching movies, relaxing, cause my summer I feel like is gonna be very stressful because I still have school and I still have work and lots of trips that I have to get ahead on videos for anyways, yeah. I think it'd be so fun to just get some friends, cuddle up and watch movies, eat junk food or salads because we know that's how I roll. Yeah, I think that'll be so much fun. Okay, I'm so excited for this one. I literally, every time I rewrite my bucket list, I always put this one with one of my top five. Number six is Walmart lot runs late at night. I get hungry late at night. I have a door to the outside. Shout out to my parents, thank you so much for doing that for me. So I can just go get in the car, go pick up my friend at like midnight or earlier cause I have to be in bed by midnight. And go to Walmart and get lots of just junk food, just goof around in Walmart cause no one's really there that late at night. I think that's like one of my most favorite things that I'm so excited about. Number seven is another one of my favorite things to do or another one of the things that I really wanna do. So the car that I have, it's my dad's car, but it's mine too, has a sunroof, not a full back one like a Jeep, but it has a sunroof and I really wanna go stargazing. I think that that would be so much fun, just sit back and look at the stars or get some blankets, go out to the middle of the desert because we live in the middle of the desert, get some blankets and sit on top of the car and just watch. I think that would be so much fun and such a cute date night idea, guys. Number eight, I think, is have a picnic. I think picnics are so cute. I think that would be so cute to, again, go out to the middle of the desert, go out to like a lookout, set up a picnic and eat food and talk with your friends or your boyfriend. Again, that's not gonna happen for me because I'm single. <laughs> we love that. Number nine is swimming till midnight. Again, we have a pool. I would love it if I could swim till midnight. 
I think that would be so much fun. Number 10, dance in the rain. 11, do yoga. I did yoga in China, and that was the last time I did yoga. That was a little um, intense. 12, get a gym membership. 13, drive-in movie. I've never seen, I've never gone to a drive-in movie, or maybe, oh, I did in Hawaii, and we like made these cute little um, cars or like, beds out of boxes and BYU actually set it up in Hawaii and it was so much fun so I would love to go to a real drive-in movie with my friends I think that would be so fantastic bowling I suck at bowling but you know summer for giving second tries drive to the middle of nowhere I'm getting my license this summer so a lot of these have to do with driving so yeah that's one of them I think that would be so much fun to just drive out this has to do also with stargazing or a picnic watch the sunset and sunrise I've watched a few sunrises kind of the sunrise we tried to attempt to watch it ended up just going down and it wasn't actually very pretty so I would love to do that again tubing or playing in the river we have a river by our house it's like far ways away but not far ways away if that makes sense and so I think that would be so much fun to either go tubing or just go and play in the river I think either one would be so much fun because right now the river is actually really high and it never is anyways so I think that would be so fun to go and play in the river just float down it a little bit hopefully not go over any waterfalls but yeah that would be fun cliff jumping I've never done this although maybe I have I've jumped off tall rocks they weren't really that tall but we could consider that cliff jumping anyways i would love to do that again sleep on the trampoline at the moment our trampoline pit it is now just a huge mound of dirt so if that could get cleared up that would be fun go out of state we all know that's gonna be happening but i mean hey i would love to add it to my bucket list so that i can check at least one of these things off get a boyfriend haha <laughs> that is never going to happen but i mean hey it's good to dream dream very big i guess I mean, it's a motto, dream big, little one. Go to a waterfall, waterfall. Actually, yeah, we're gonna add that one. Go to a waterfall, that would be so fun. They have some hikes here that have waterfalls, that would be cute. Go to a water park. We had a water park by where we lived a while ago, and I think it shut down, but I think it's coming back. Anyways, that would be super cool. Or go to an abandoned water park. Escape room, those are really fun. At the same time, they're boring, so I don't know why people like them, but I mean, hey. See a concert, I have never, Actually, yes, I have. I've seen an Imagine Dragons concert and a R5 concert. You guys probably have no idea what that is. Hike to a waterfall. We already had that one. There's a really cool, like, one stream waterfall and, like, this cute stairs thing. So that would be cool to go to. Make popsicles from scratch. I did that in my video, and I'm going to try that again, and hopefully I won't fail. Watch the fireworks. That always happens near my birthday, so I think that would be fun to go watch those again. Yeah, with my friends or my family. Either one works. Strawberry picking. I have seen so many people do this and I think it's such a cute, fun activity. Definitely great for the Instagram and photos. So I would love to do that. I think that that one's so fun. Well, I think it would be fun. Have a barbecue with friends and family. Hold the best barbecue ever. I haven't had a barbecue in forever. Aw, these make me so excited for this summer. A day trip with my girls. Probably either my family girls or my best friend girl. Yeah, pull an all-nighter. I think I've done that twice, but then I just slept the rest of the day. So pull a full all-nighter, legitimate, legitness. Redecorate my bedroom. Hopefully that video will be coming soon. Not fully redecorating my room because I do that every single freaking month. But I mean, hey, that's just how I am. Sorry, mom and Raquel. Shopping sprees. I need to get some new summer clothes because. I always only wear jeans. Make a new friend. I think that would be super fun. I actually made a new friend, sort of, kind of, I think, at that bonfire. We already can check that one off. Yay, Clay, good job. Camping, oh, I love camping, especially in Alaska, that was so much fun. These are all bringing back memories. Catch fireflies, which I can actually do in New York. I am so excited. Fireflies actually look really ugly in the light but they're so cool at night volunteer somewhere so maybe go to the like dog shelters or i really want to go on a humanitarian trip i can't this year but that would be so much fun for next year or just volunteer try a sun tattoo not sure how my parents or grandparents or any of them will feel about this we could try it we'll see with permissions consent parental consent question mark camp in my backyard we have a super cool backyard now Finally, 
Hallelujah. So I think that would be so fun. Create my vlog channel. This has to be one of my newest, favoriteest, bestest, absolutelyest, most amazingest thing that we're gonna do. I'm so excited. I'm gonna be vlogging like heck. And once I hit 500,000 subscribers, and I'm not busy and packed up like crap, we are going to start posting on that every week. It's gonna be the best. You guys are gonna have to subscribe to that. I'll tell you when it's there. I'm so excited. And then last but not least, I want to have a summer journal, a super cute summer journal, or a photo book, a scrapbook full of all my summer photos and videos, which we can't put into a book, but we can make a video. Anyways, that is everything. I'm so excited for this summer. Hopefully this bucket list will make this summer the best summer yet. And make sure to be checking out my next videos to see some more summer videos and comment. And thank you guys so much for watching this. We're already getting into the outro. Wow. Um, I'll check you guys next week. Hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.